you start recording? Hi, everybody. Um, thanks for joining us today for the seated workout. I'm Marina from Achieve Tahoe. I'm the guest service coordinator. And we're doing this in partnership with you, Move United for their Adapt at Home um, program. So we're going to get started here today. We're going to need a pole and some weights. Um, and we'll start out with like a cardio session like we usually do. And then um, we're going to shift over to some multi-movement weight stuff that I think some of us have done before. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And um, grab my poll. All right, everybody got their polls? Great, let's get started. Okay. Okay, so we'll start with this movement, up, reach up, and then reach out. And with this one, we're gonna do five different exercises. We've done this before, and then have a rest, and then do five again, and then have a rest. Each one's gonna be for a minute. So by the end of this, we should be nice and warmed up and tired, probably. I got the A team today. Everybody's going for it. Twenty more seconds. And switch the paddling on both sides. Okay, good, everybody. Thirty more seconds of this one. All right, and switch to punch out. So hold it right here at your shoulders. Keep one hand still, punch out with the other hand. Everybody's form looks great. Good job, Johnny. Punch out as far as you can. If you want extra cardio, you can go faster. Five more seconds. Up next is punch up. So start from the same position and then punch up one hand at a time, keeping the other one in place. Fifteen more seconds. Okay. 
And last is straight arm raises. So start with the pull on your knees and lift as far up above your head as you can. I think these ones are the hardest. Ten more seconds. And rest. Thirty second rest, get some water. Looking good. Fifteen more seconds of resting. Then we'll do it all again and all one more time. Okay. Starting in five seconds. Start with up and out, up and then out. That's my mom calling. She knows that I have a class. She came to it. <laughs> Hard to keep track. 20 more seconds. And paddle both sides. Rotate as much as you can at the waist. That'll get your core involved. Pretend we're on the blue Lake Tahoe. Twenty more seconds of this. Keep it up. And punch out. Hold one hand steady next to your shoulder and punch out with the other one. Ten more seconds. And punch up. So same thing, hold one arm steady by your one hand steady by your shoulder. Punch up with the other hand.
Okay, good, everybody. 10 more seconds. And straight arm raises. Start on your knees, lift up and above your head. You can count how many you get done in a minute and try to improve upon it each minute, each time you do it. Few more seconds and then we get a rest. Hang in there. And rest. Don't forget to drink water if you have it. All right, five more seconds and we'll do our last round of these. Move on to our weights. And up and up. Looks like we might get another thunderstorm in Tahoe. I hope so, it's hot. Been getting a lot of thunderstorms for Tahoe. Fifteen more seconds. And paddle both sides. Get to rotate at the waist if you can, get your core involved. 10 more seconds of this one. And punch out. Looking good. Get that arm out as straight as you can. Pull it back into your shoulder. I like it, Oscar. Keep working out while you drink water. Committed. Five more seconds on this. And punch up.
Ten more seconds. And last one, straight arm raises from your knee to above your head. Twenty more seconds and then we're done. And stop. Good job, everyone. Um, okay, get some water, rest for a minute, and then we'll start with some weight. Um, for this, <clears throat> five pound weights are probably best, but whatever you have is good. Um, and soup cans or two soup cans. If it starts to get tiring, um, switch to no weights. And we're gonna do five different exercises, um, 10 times each, and we'll go through it three times. Everybody feeling ready? Cool. So the first one's gonna be a bicep curl to a shoulder press. So we're gonna come up like this, and we're gonna swivel them, and then lift up above our heads. And then back down to the curl. So we'll start one, Two, three, four. So we're working out both our biceps and our shoulders with this one. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Make sure you keep breathing. Um, the next one is a tricep and um, like back part of your shoulder. So we're gonna lean forward on our, um, with our arm on our knees. And we're gonna rest, hang the weight down as far as we can. You know, lift up as far as you can and then kick it back towards the back of the room. Bring it back in and go down. Can everybody see that okay? Okay, so lift up, back, bring it back in and down. Two, Three, four, this is called a row with a tricep kick back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we'll switch to the other arm. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, um, what's the next one? Oh, I remember. Um, next one, you could actually just do with one weight and switch back and forth, but it's gonna be a hammer curl. So it's same with bicep curl, but with the weight facing this way. So you lift up like this, and then we're gonna reach across our body and then come back down. So one, I like to stabilize myself with my hand on the other leg. And the reach across gets our core involved a little bit, and our shoulder. Five, six, seven. So you want to reach across your body to the other side. Eight, nine, and ten. And then we'll switch arms. One, and then reaching across our body towards the opposite shoulder. Bicep curl and across, back down. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Kind of rotate at the waist as much as you can. Nine and ten. All right, next we're going to take the weight and hold it like this, rest it on our knees, and we're going to lift it up above our heads and then bend our elbows back and down to work out the triceps. One, two, three, squeeze your elbows together as much as you can. I have kind of a hard time with that. Five, six, seven, and wait to bend your elbows until you have your arms straight above your head. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, last we're gonna take one weight in each hand and lean, Let's see if I can get this so you guys can see it a little better. You're gonna lean forward like this and let your um, wrists or your hands drop down and then curl your wrists up. You're just working out your forearm right here. It is called wrist curls. Three, four, and they're surprisingly hard. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so that's all of them. We're going to do that two more times. Everybody get a drink of water. Press your arms for a second. How's everybody feeling? Starting to get a little tired? Good. All right, ready to start the next round? Okay, so we'll start with bicep curls to shoulder press. So curling up, swivel, and then up above your head so that they touch. Two. Three, four, 
four. Six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. And put one weight down. Lean forward on your knees, and we'll do the rows to tricep kick back. Row up, kick back towards the room. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and lift that elbow as high as you can towards the ceiling. Nine, and ten. And switch sides. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, switch hands again. Next is the hammer curls to the reach across. One, two, three. Reach as far across your body as you can. Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch hands. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, last one. Our wrist curls and lean forward on your knees. Hang those wrists down and then curl your hands up towards your forearms. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Okay. Take a quick rest and then we'll do it all one more time. Then we're all done. Okay, ready for that last round? Uh, 
bicep curl, the shoulder press. You guys are doing great. My arms are getting tired. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Down. Right, and rows to kick back up towards the ceiling and back. Reach as high as you can with that elbow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And switch sides. Try to think about looking straight forward as much as you can. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, switching hands, hammer curl to reach across, so curl up, reach as far across as you can, come back and curl back down. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And switching sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. All right, how many two left? Hold the weight with both hands down by your knees, dip up towards the ceiling, and then drop it down behind your head. Make sure you get those arms straight before you do the tricep. Move down towards. There you go. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, last one with two weights. One in each hand, lean forward on your knees, bring your wrists or your hands down, and then curl those wrists up. 
ten times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. All right, just a little cool down. Oh, we'll do some arm circles on one side, like five or so to the back of the room, opening up those shoulders and switch sides. Nice, and then towards the front of the room. Same thing on the other side. Great, and then take your arm and swing it up over your head and touch the other shoulder. And then switch sides. I'll do a few chest openers. So just swing hand like this. Yeah. And then just stretch out your neck a little bit. Nice slow circles, couple one way. And switch and do the other way. Great job, shake it out. Thanks everybody for coming. Thanks to Move United for sponsoring this program with their Adapt at Home um, scholarships. And hopefully we'll see you all next week. Thank you, Marina.